Searching for an SD card can get confusing due to the wide range of options in the market. A good starting point would be to define how it will be used. Will you be shooting RAW plus JPEG stills or shoot high frame rate, high resolution videos? Once defined, decide on how much capacity you need then set a budget limit. Going through this process, I've decided to settle with the SanDisk Extreme 64GB and I can say it offers great value for the money. In this video, we're going to see the actual numbers of its performance by conducting speed tests and measuring file copy times. Let's start with the classic speed test. Using the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test application, the card scored approximately 87 Mbps and 50 Mbps for read and write speeds respectively. The application rated the card as capable of up to 1080p 60fps in ProRes 422HQ format, but according to the app, you might have performance issues when going above 1080p 30fps in Cinema DNG RAW using this card. Also, if you're into 10-bit 422 videos, this is not the card for you. Next, I did a file transfer test to and from the card. The files in total is 3.29GB in size, but it is a mixture of 1.82GB of images and 1.46GB of videos. Writing or copying it to the card took 1 minute and 4 seconds, while reading or copying that towards the laptop took only 35 seconds. This will vary depending on your machine storage speed, but I think this test on a 13-inch Retina MacBook Pro 2015 is a good baseline. So overall, if you are using ProRes 422HQ videos at around 1080p 120fps, this card has got your back. But above that, it may be best to opt for a faster card such as the more expensive SanDisk Extreme Plus. So that's it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.